I'm doing is I'm 100% putting as much tension as I can on the gun and I'm seeing how things act. Now I'm going to be 100% as loose as I can be, stock barely touching my shoulder. Now I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. What I experienced here is like pretty normal. I would say the like a million per like as tight as I could possibly go, I felt like I was fighting with the rifle and the dot was slashing around a bunch. When I went 100% as loose as I could go, stock just barely touching my shoulder, rounds tracked up and away off of where I wanted, I was like, I don't have control. Then I went somewhere in the middle and the gun, of course, tracked nicely and normally. We want to do this experiment with everybody, then shoot like a mag after that as you get on the pressure you want. What most people will find is that, like I said, firm connection where the rifle stays there and then no more, that's going to be the best. You find when people put on a ton of pressure, like crank down on the gun to try to control it, they'll see like they're almost fighting with the gun even more and it becomes unpredictable the way that the, the dot tracks. Why does it become unpredictable? Yeah, it's, it's like it's you can't it's difficult when you're putting on that much force It's difficult to do that consistently mm -hmm. and then you'll like react to the like the, the sight gets away from the, Like it becomes inconsistent When I relax all the way it's inconsistent, but for a different reason you could feel like the rifles not staying in the same place It's like moving around Right and then somewhere in the middle more t like on the on the spectrum. It's more towards less pressure You'll find that is optimum Make sense to everybody. So let's give this a try